Campaign Chronicles here on Capitol Hill the morning after. Rick Santorum pulled out wins in Mississippi and Alabama last night, sending shockwaves through the Republican establishment, which is slowly realizing that this is going to be a long fight for the nomination. It is a trap that, frankly, the RNC set for itself. This year is different because of two reasons. One, proportional allocation of delegates. Two, super PACs. This isn't even a two-man race yet. It's about whether or not the collected alternatives to Romney can stop him from reaching 1,144 delegates. But even the Romney camp, with its spin, first it was the winning southern states, now it's a delegate count, are acknowledging that they are at least two months away, two months away from capturing the 1,144 delegates needed. On a deeper level, Republicans are facing the fissures within their own coalition. Rick Santorum winning not just evangelicals and Tea Partiers and voters who make under $100,000, but more rural voters. While Mick Romney's strength is in wealthier voters, more urban voters, people who might be swing state voters in a general election. Part of the conversation is about who's a more authentic conservative. Romney seemingly trying to attack Rick Santorum as being an inauthentic conservative when it comes to fiscal matters. But of course, so much of it does come down to social issues and that 180 that Mitt Romney did since he ran for Massachusetts governor and then began running for president. This is a gut check for the Republican Party. And in part, the party is starting to realize the wages of polarization. You reap what you sow. As the party has become more polarized, it, is, it results in candidates being elevated to the top of the fold who have a very tough time making a connection, a convincing sale to centrists and swing voters and independents in a general election. That's a gut check the Republican Party is going to need to make on its own, whether they want to nominate ideological purity or make a case for electability. Because even Mitt Romney's attempts to check every social litmus test box there is have not been convincing to the base. The Republican Party is going to need to decide whether it wants to modernize, following a more David Cameron model, a U.S. version by actually aggressively trying to reach out beyond their base, or whether this will be an election where they reach out and embrace their base entirely and possibly remember what it's like to win only five states in a general election. Campaign Chronicles, I'm John Avalon.